Have you ever wondered, what if reality as we know it is just the tip of the iceberg? Imagine the universe, this colossal expanse of existence that stretches to infinity and beyond. It's a vast, seemingly endless sea of galaxies, stars, planets, and the elusive dark matter. We are but a tiny speck in this cosmic ocean, a mere blip in the grand scheme of things. For centuries, humanity's understanding of the universe has been in a constant state of evolution. There was a time when we believed that the Earth was the center of it all, with everything else revolving around us. But as we moved forward, our perspective changed. We discovered that the Earth was just one of the many planets orbiting the Sun. Further exploration revealed that our Sun is just one of the billions of stars in our galaxy, the Milky Way. And the Milky Way, it's just one among billions of galaxies in the observable universe. Yet, despite these mind-boggling discoveries, there's a feeling that we've barely scratched the surface. There are still countless mysteries that remain, questions that baffle us, enigmas that challenge our understanding of reality. To explain these mysteries, scientists have proposed various theories over the years, and one of the most intriguing among them is the string theory. Now what exactly is string theory? In its essence, string theory suggests that the fundamental entities of the universe aren't particles as we've long believed, but rather tiny vibrating strings of energy. It's a theory that dares to venture beyond the known, to dive deep into the realms of the unknown. It's an attempt to reconcile the seemingly incompatible theories of quantum mechanics and general relativity, an endeavor to weave a coherent narrative of the universe and its workings. So are you ready to unravel the mysteries of the universe through string theory? Imagine if everything you see around you, including yourself, is made up of tiny vibrating strings, this is the mind-bending premise of string theory, a theoretical framework that attempts to explain all the fundamental forces of the universe. Let's take a step back for a moment and look at what we've known for centuries. We've been taught that the world around us is composed of atoms, right? And these atoms are made up of smaller particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons, which are further composed of even tinier particles called quarks. But string theory tosses a curveball into this established understanding. Instead of picturing these particles as tiny dots or points, string theory sees them as tiny, one-dimensional vibrating strands or loops, much like minuscule pieces of string. These strings vibrate at different frequencies, and it's these frequencies that determine what kind of particle the string is. Picture a violin string. Depending on how it's played, it can produce various notes. In a similar fashion, the tiny strings in string theory vibrate to play different particles. So, an electron isn't just a point-like particle. Instead, it's a tiny string vibrating at a frequency that gives it the properties of an electron. A quark is another string, but it vibrates at a different frequency, giving it a different set of properties. This is a radical departure from what we're used to, but it's a theory that holds immense potential. If true, it could provide a unified explanation for all four fundamental forces of nature, gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces. But remember, string theory is just that, a theory. It's an exciting idea that has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe, but it's still in the realm of the theoretical, waiting to be proven. So, the universe in essence is a symphony of vibrating strings. Listen closely, and you might just hear the music of the cosmos. What if we told you that the world isn't just three-dimensional, but may have up to 11 dimensions? Yes, you heard that right. Welcome to the world of string theory, where the universe is not confined to the three dimensions we can perceive, length, width, and height. Instead, it proposes that there may be additional dimensions, hidden away from our senses, making the universe much more complex and fascinating than we can ever imagine. In the realm of string theory, these extra dimensions are considered essential components that help explain the fundamental nature of the universe. But why can't we see or feel these extra dimensions? Well, it's because they are compacted or curled up into a size so small that it's beyond our perception. Think of it as a garden hose viewed from afar. From a distance, it seems like a one-dimensional line. But as you get closer, you realize it's actually three-dimensional with length, 
width, and a circular cross-section. Now let's scale this concept up to the universe. The extra dimensions in string theory are believed to be compacted into such a tiny scale that for all intents and purposes, they appear non-existent to our human senses. Yet they play a crucial role in the dance of subatomic particles, influencing their behavior and interactions in ways that are still being explored by physicists. These dimensions are not just theoretical constructs. Their existence could help resolve some of the most perplexing questions in physics, like unifying quantum mechanics with general relativity, or explaining the enigma of dark matter and dark energy. This is the beauty of string theory. It opens up a universe of possibilities, quite literally. So, the next time you gaze at the stars, remember that the universe you're looking at may be far more intricate than it appears. It's mind-boggling to think that there could be dimensions all around us that we can't see or feel. Could string theory be the key to unifying all the physics? We've long been on a quest to understand the universe, to find a grand unified theory that brings together all the laws of physics into one elegant equation. And string theory, a fascinating concept that's been around for a few decades, might be the answer we've been searching for. At the heart of string theory lies a simple idea that everything in the universe, from the tiniest particles to the galaxies spanning light years, is made up of tiny strings of energy. These strings vibrate, and the different modes of vibration correspond to different fundamental particles. In other words, all matter and forces are just different notes on a cosmic string. The beauty of string theory is that it has the potential to reconcile the two seemingly incompatible theories that currently dominate physics. On one hand, we have quantum mechanics, a theory that describes the bizarre and counterintuitive world of the ultra-small, like atoms and subatomic particles. On the other hand, we have general relativity, Einstein's brainchild, which describes the physics of the very large galaxies, black holes, the universe itself. For a long time, these two theories have been at odds. They work within their own realms, but break down when they overlap. For example, when we try to apply quantum mechanics to gravity, a force explained by general relativity, we get infinities which just don't make sense. But string theory could solve this problem. It proposes a way to unite these two worlds, the quantum and the cosmic. By replacing point-like particles with strings, we can avoid the troublesome infinities. Moreover, string theory naturally includes gravity, as one of the vibrational states of the string corresponds to the graviton, a hypothetical quantum particle of gravity. Of course, string theory is still a work in progress, and there's a lot we don't know. But if it proves correct, it could be the key to a deeper understanding of the universe, providing a framework that encompasses all particles and forces. String theory could be the bridge between the quantum and cosmic worlds. But why isn't string theory universally accepted if it could be the answer to everything? Well, despite its captivating allure, String theory comes with its fair share of challenges and criticisms. One of the most significant hurdles is the lack of experimental evidence. Science at its core is a game of evidence. Hypotheses are made, experiments are conducted, and the results either support or reject the theory. But with string theory we're dealing with strings that are so minuscule that they're beyond our current ability to detect. We're talking about scales a billion billion times smaller than protons. This makes testing string theory a Herculean task. Then there's the complexity of the math. String theory isn't just a theory, it's a mathematical framework. But the math is so intricate, so complex, that it's been dubbed the theory with 26 dimensions. Even the brightest minds have a hard time grappling with the dizzying array of calculations. It's like trying to solve a Rubik's cube while blindfolded, with all sides of the cube constantly changing color. Furthermore, String theory currently has many versions, not just one. There's type 1, type di a, type di y b, and the list goes on. This multitude of versions creates a bit of a puzzle. Which one is the correct one? Do they all describe the same universe but from different angles? Or are some just mathematical mirages? These are questions that continue to perplex scientists, adding another layer of complexity to an already complex field. Despite these challenges, however, string theory isn't going anywhere. Its potential to unify the laws of physics and explain the deepest mysteries of the universe is too tantalizing to ignore. It's a bit like standing at the foot of a towering mountain, 
The climb is daunting, the path is treacherous, but the promise of the view from the peak is irresistible. Despite the challenges, string theory continues to be a fascinating field that could one day unlock the secrets of the universe.